Hey, what's up guys? This is Aerial Image Pros. We just received a uh, Inspire 2 aircraft this week and uh, today we received a slave transmitter uh, as well. And we were having some issues with the slave transmitter being able to take over control of the gimbal camera. Um, it would get a feed, a uh, video feed, but it wouldn't control the camera at all. And uh, after spending a couple hours on the phone with tech support, or rather on hold with tech support, uh, only to have them tell me that we needed to uh, go in and update our firmware, but the firmware was already up to date, so that didn't really make any difference. Um, so they weren't very helpful at all. And of course, when I called back, they were closed. So I was able to figure it out anyways, and it's actually very simple, and hopefully this video will save a lot of people quite a bit of time. So when you've got the single operator controller on the um, gimbal will be able to control up and down with just a single operator uh, but not left and right so we need the second controller for that but um, in order to make the second controller work you have to enable it on the second controller and it's a completely um, different location than it is on the Inspire 1. Let me start this up. The last flight that we did on this was a single operator, so it should pull up on here right away so we can take over. So right now we've got no control over the gimbal whatsoever. You can see I'm moving the sticks here and it's not moving the camera whatsoever. You actually have to take over control of it and to do that there's an icon over here. It looks like a camera and a gimbal. Click on that, and that brings up this screen right here. Um, all you have to do is hit OK. So now the slave controller will be able to control the gimbal. So now you can see when I move the sticks, I have control over it again. So if you're switching from dual operator on one flight, and then the next flight you do is a single operator, we'll go ahead and shut the slave controller off and now we've got the master control so the master control right now cannot control the gimbal movement up and down like it normally would only one transmitter at a time can control the gimbal so now we would have to take over the gimbal control again on this uh, master and you'll see that icon popped up over here Adding mode. to take over the gimbal control on the master as well so now the master controller can control the gimbal up and down. And say we ended that flight, and the next flight that we needed to do would be dual operator. You would have to do that process over again where you just basically just take over control with the slave um, screen. Give it a second to start up here. Okay, so you'll see on the screen again that it's got that same uh, gimbal icon and we'll have to take back over control of it before it'll let us control that camera whatsoever. And you can click on do not show so that doesn't come up all the time and, and annoy you. But just click on OK and, and then that gives you control with the slave again. So hopefully this saves you guys a lot more time. It took me about three hours to go through everything and, and figure that out. So hopefully this video saves you guys a lot of time.